Welcome to Your Sky Tonight. I'm Tony Darnell. The late autumn, winter, and early spring seasons are a magical time for looking at the night sky. It is the time of year when the nighttime side of the Earth is facing toward the region of the galaxy, home to the constellations of Taurus, Canis Major, and, most magnificent of all, Orion the Hunter. There is probably not a more distinctive group of stars in our night sky than those found in the constellation of Orion. Here, all of its major stars are among the brightest, making them easy to pick out, even under some of our most light-polluted skies. It is also home to one of the largest stellar nurseries in the galaxy. Within its boundaries lie enormous clouds of gas and dust that are generating new stars at a prodigious rate. One of those regions is so bright, you can actually see it with your naked eye under pristine skies. Under brighter skies, those that most of us live under, it is easily discerned under binoculars or a small telescope. I'm talking about the Great Nebula in Orion. The trick to finding it lies in locating the most striking feature of Orion, the three bright stars that form his belt. These stars, Alnitak, Alnilam, and Mintaka, are evenly spaced in a straight line and are often the key to spotting the constellation. Once you've found Orion's belt, you are just a small step away from spotting the nebula. Below the belt, you'll see a fainter line of stars hanging down, often referred to as Orion's sword. This line appears less bright than the belt, but it is still visible with the naked eye on a clear, dark night. At the center of the sword, you will notice a small, cloudy patch of light. This glowing spot is the 42nd object listed in Messier's famous catalog, the Orion Nebula, a massive stellar nursery where new stars are born. Under ideal conditions, you may be able to see the Orion Nebula with just your eyes as a faint blur. But using binoculars or a telescope will reveal much more detail especially in the central region known as the trapezium. With binoculars, the nebula appears as a glowing, cloudy region surrounding a group of young stars that comprise the trapezium. A telescope will reveal even more structure, showing its wispy and complex nature, with gas and dust glowing due to the intense energy of newly formed stars. The Orion Nebula is located about 1,400 light-years from Earth and is the closest region of massive star formation to Earth. It's part of the Orion Molecular Cloud Complex, a larger star-forming region that also includes the famous Horsehead Nebula. Recently, the Webb Space Telescope took a look at this region and unlocked stunning views in the infrared of the intricate detail and structure within. Young stars were revealed along with brand new planetary systems with disks surrounding them. These disks are the precursors to planets which may one day harbor life. Your Sky Tonight is produced by Deep Astronomy. If you would like to see more of this kind of content, please consider becoming a member of this YouTube channel. Thank you.